A lot of canines get a bad reputation because of how huge they are, but that doesn't mean they're bad to the core. Some of them are just full of fluff. And some just have long fur that makes them look intimidating. Over the centuries, people have domesticated dogs from all geographical locations. Some were used as herders, while others were used as water rescuers. But at some point, these dogs grew huge in size and became one of the most crucial gentle giants of the human world. Some of these dogs are so rare, so you might not have even heard of them before. So here are the 20 largest dog breeds in the world. Number 20. Bully Cuda The Bully Cuda is one that has a fearsome name and a reputation to go along with it. These enormous and aggressive canines can grow up to 44 inches and weigh up to 170 pounds. Bully Cuda originated in the Indian subcontinent and are very popular in the Punjab region of India and Pakistan, as well as Haryana, Delhi, and Tamil Nadu. They have a thick boned, muscular formation with a head bigger than a seven year old's and a tail tapering to a fine point. They're not the friendliest breed. In fact, many people keep them for their hardcore nature to, to seem more macho. However, this does make them good guard dogs. A bully cuda isn't an easy one to train, so if you're a novice dog owner, don't even bother getting this dog. Even grooming them can be hard as these energetic dogs get dirty quite fast and you might need extra help while bathing them. Small dogs and pets are basically candy to them, so make sure to keep them away. Number 19. Tibetan Mastiff With an appearance as magnificent as a lion, these dogs are really tempting to keep as pets. However, they aren't very well suited to first-time dog owners. The Tibetan Mastiff requires a lot of care, especially regarding socialization. Their protective instincts are so strong around their owners that they might not even listen to their orders. And their huge size means you'll really need strong hands to restrain them, so you don't end up being dragged around by these big, powerful dogs. These creatures are so stubborn that even after appropriate socialization, they might find it hard to befriend strange animals or humans. But what many people don't know about this breed is that they love themselves a good hug. So hug them as often as you can. With 150 pounds of sheer determination, it's definitely becoming hard to deal with their aggressiveness. Though they might not tower over you at a height of 26 inches, they'll definitely bark at you excessively and loudly at night. Well, if you like this breed, you'll be glad to know they don't shed too much either. Less work for you! Number 18. Borzoi The Borzoi is a graceful but large breed with a Russian hunting heritage. This breed can reach up to 32 inches and weigh up to 105 pounds. Despite all that, they still eat relatively small amounts. They were used for hunting down animals such as wolves, foxes, and hares. That's why they have excellent skills when it comes to speed, agility, and endurance. The word borzoi is Russian for swift. So if Barry Allen were to have a pet dog, it's got to be the borzoi. They are a type of the hound family known as the sight hound, which means they hunt using their eyes to find and chase prey. When taking care of a borzoi, their heritage should be kept in mind since they require a lot of exercises and need to run free for at least one and a half hours. These gentle giants can be very affectionate with their families, so if you have any kids, they're sure to be protective of them. Just make sure these animals don't knock over younger children. Number 17. Thai Ridgeback the Thai Ridgebacks have a fascinating history. They were used as watchdogs, hunting dogs, and escort carts. In some areas, they were responsible for killing cobras. They're usually about 24 inches and only 60 pounds, so not the biggest, but still quite strong. This breed shares its ancestors with the pariah dog, which likely originated when dogs first started to evolve from wolves. They're not fond of strangers and are even weary of the slightest changes around the house, such as a new piece of furniture. However, you won't often see them get into conflicts or confrontations as they have a soft character. These athletic dogs need an energy outlet or they might just ruin your fancy sofas for fun. This quality is what makes them really good sports dogs. Other than that, they have no undercoat, hence they shed very little. All we see are advantages. Number 16. Brazilian Mastiff One of the rarest working breeds is the Phileo Brasileiro, who are incredibly courageous and determined. This makes them extremely devoted to their family, and the fact that they can grow up to 30 inches and weigh up to 110 pounds just means they're incredibly strong. The word filar means to seize, which is what these dogs were meant to do. 
They'd chase down an animal and capture it so that the hunter could pin them down. These big dogs aren't meant to be confined to a small space. They need a large area to roam in, or it could be a big fenced-in backyard where they can satisfy their chasing instinct. Other than that, there's very little you have to worry about when raising a fila. Even though they're not recognized by any of the major kennel clubs, it doesn't mean that they're not worthy of being kept as pets. Number 15. Afghan Hound The Afghan Hound is faithful to its hunter origins, which means they're strong-willed, independent, and self-confident. However, even though these canines are highly intelligent, it's quite challenging to train their stubborn nature. Instead, they respond to gentle guidance and regular discipline. With a relatively small size at 27 inches and only 55 pounds, these dogs make the perfect pet for apartment dwellers. In fact, they'll become couch potatoes quite quickly. But adequate exercise is needed so they don't start to indulge in destructive behavior, such as chewing and biting. At the very least, a walk of a mile or two daily should be enough. Moreover, these beautiful breeds should never be able to roam around freely. Number 14. Rottweiler their playful and affectionate side sometimes gets a bad reputation when they're around young kids. However, with older kids, these dogs can thrive. Rotties are very loud dogs and would love to let out forced barks when they feel intimidated or sense danger. Rotties were originally bred to take care of cattle, which explains their bulky bodies and solid build. And when they try to herd small children, they might nudge them too hard and hurt them. Moreover, they might get a little too used to roughhousing little kids, which is unideal when you've just baby-proofed the whole house. But other than that, they're 130 pounds of affection and nothing more. Number 13. Azawak The Azawak breed originated in the African Sahara Desert and was primarily bred to guard the livestock of their owners. They are one of the most expensive breeds in the world. These fleet-footed pups were initially bred to chase down prey like hares and gazelles in Africa. Though they're very territorial and dominant animals, they like to spend time with their own kind. That's why most Azawak owners like to have two or the same breed so that they don't feel left out or alone. As for grooming, all you need to do is rub down their coat once a week to keep it shiny and keep the team away from the cold. Desert dogs don't do well in the winter months. Number 12. Giant Schnauzer Novice dog owners and giant schnauzers would never go together. This dog breed needs a lot of training, so their guarding instincts don't turn into a burden. This native German breed can be as tall as 27 and a half inches and weigh up to 100 pounds. They were also employed as guard dogs during the First World War. When the First World War ended, they were on the brink of extinction. Exercises like running and hiding are good for them since those are the only things that'll tire their mind and their body out. Moreover, these dogs need a loyal family to stick to and shouldn't be left alone in the wilderness. After being used as farm dogs, these dogs were so smart that they eventually became part of the police workforce. Number 11. Bloodhound Bloodhounds are basically the personification of curiosity in the form of a lovely dog. Their signature long, floppy ears and wrinkles aren't just for show. This breed has a tendency to follow its nose during walks and playtime. Aside from the distinctive, sad, puppy dog appearance you think it gives them, these ridges, folds, and wrinkles help them in their trailing endeavors. Their high energy levels also encourage them to drift away from where their heart desires. Their huge size of about 110 pounds and 27 inches means that they can't be bothered to stay put in a small space. How else are they going to get all that energy out? The Bloodhound is a true pack dog, so if your family is an extremely busy one, try avoiding this breed. Number 10. Borble The Borble might seem like a scary Mastiff, but these dogs are actually 200 pounds of the perfect mix of guard and family. That's because they were originally farm dogs with a very specific job, to ward off any African intruders that might upset the Dutch farmers. In fact, these canines had the most powerful bite force of about 800 PSI of any dog breed at the time. If a borable senses a wreck owner, it'll start to assert dominant, so staying stern with these dogs is a must. Additionally, they're pretty good companions for younger and older kids if they know each other well, but this is only possible if the dogs are socialized early enough. Number 9. Bull Mastiff Bull Mastiff has a very clear resemblance with the Mastiff and the Bulldog, which happens to be its two ancestors. 
These dogs can be smart and loyal, but their scary features can drive people away from choosing them as companions. However, not many people know this breed was trained not to bark or bite intruders, but to quietly track, pin, and hold poachers without roughing them up. Gamekeepers needed a dog to protect their game back in the 1800s, which is when they came up with the breed of bulldogs. However, these dogs were way too small to take down any human, but when they were bred with a mastiff, it was exactly what they needed. However, these dogs aren't too active and sometimes need the motivation to get out of their comfortable dog beds and move around. Sometimes they get so large that it's hard to control them on a leash. Unfortunately, this breed can't be left to run free in a dog park or else a canine war will break out. Number 8. Connie Corso The Connie Corso is a very large, muscular dog that can be very intimidating to look at. These fearless and extremely alert dogs aren't for anyone. The Connie Corso was always used as a guard dog and even a war dog. In fact, the word Connie means actually protector or guardian. Once they make a bond with their owner, this breed will start to become highly affectionate and even form a close bond with children. But then again, these huge dogs of 120 pounds and 27 inches of height shouldn't be left around kids, just in case something angers them. Did you know that the Connie Corso has been around since the time of ancient Greece? And when the Romans conquered the Greek islands, the legionnaires took the dogs back to Italy and bred them with Italian dogs. Number 7. Boceron Most big dogs are furry and fluffy, but this one is actually more muscle and bulk than fluff. These dogs can get to about 110 pounds and 27 inches, which is why they're used as police dogs and do other hardcore jobs. During the 1500s, they were used as messengers, especially because they understood commands. This ability goes to show that they are very intelligent. If they're trained the right way, they can put their energy into a lot of other valuable activities. Having a Boceron means having a shadow follow you around everywhere. You should be willing to give away a portion of your bed before you get a dog of this breed. They also have a unique ability to sense the slightest change in their owner's mood and do what they can to try and improve it. Number 6. Newfoundland Dog If you ever get an opportunity to meet a Newfoundland dog, chances are you'll fall in love with them. Literally, you'd be hard pressed to find a breed sweeter than them, especially for breeds their size. The Newfie is a precious breed with such a gentle and calm temperament that it's great around kids, despite its 150 pound weight. Newfies were used as assistants to fishermen and other aid work that revolved around water. These dogs have webbed feet and would often help with water rescues, fishing nets, and cart hauling. They have a very thick double coat that helps to keep them warm from the cold waters they're used to swimming in. Luckily, this results in bass only every month or so, but you won't be able to do that all alone because of how big they can get. Number 5. Leonberger The Leonberger, or the Leo, is a big dog with a very hard-working spirit. The breed went extinct during the First World War, but luckily they pulled through. They were initially bred in the name of the glory of the city of Leonberg. However, a lion was depicted on the coat of arms instead of a dog. One thing about this breed is that they're huge droolers, so much so that some owners even keep a slobber cloth with them. Leos aren't the type to just kid around. They need to have some sort of job to keep themselves occupied, whether it's obedience, completion, or even guarding their homes. These intelligent dogs can handle most situations very well, as long as they're trained well. Number 4. Irish Wolfhound Dubbed as one of the tallest of all dog breeds, these dogs are a true epitome of a gentle giant. Despite the imposing size of the Irish Wolfhound, they have a very friendly temperament. It balances out its 30 inches of height and 120 pounds of weight and could measure up to 7 feet when standing on its hind legs. People used these large hounds for hunting as they were highly effective hunters. In the 15th century, they were put to control the overpopulation of wolves in Ireland. They were so good that they ended up hunting the werewolves to extinction. These dogs are ones that will require a lot of your energy though. Since they come from a hunter background, you need to make sure they get to use their legs enough. But don't let their sheer size and hunting history trick you into thinking these dogs would make great guard dogs. They're entirely not suspicious of strangers and would rather be sweet to them than aggressive. Number 3. Scottish Deerhound With a lean and long physique, it's no surprise that this breed is about 110 pounds in weight and can reach up to 32 inches of height. 
The Scottish Deerhound has been around since the 16th century and is even known as the Royal Dog of Scotland. They were once used to hunt down red deer, and though they're larger and heavier than greyhounds, much of their primary purpose is just to be fast. A Scottish historian called it the most perfect creature of heaven. During the 18th century, they became so much of a royalty that anyone below the rank of Earl was not allowed to own the breed. However, they're definitely not the best guard dogs with how sweet and friendly they are. In fact, they prefer not to be alone and like to spend time with children, but only if they've been properly socialized. Unfortunately, they're not city dogs and would much rather have big yards to run around in. Number 2. St. Bernard This cuddly breed might be a giant, but they have even bigger hearts than you can imagine. St. Bernards belong to a lineage of dogs such as the Shunohounds which served as rescue dogs and farm dogs in the Alps. Besides being used as a standard service search and rescue dog, they also make very loving family companions. Like many other big dogs, these dogs also need some training since they forget how to act their size. However, with a height of 27 inches, weighing 180 pounds and thick fur, they can do quite well in winters. In fact, their heightened sense of smell was used to find people lost in a thicket of snow in the Swiss Alps. In the past, the working St. Bernards were much smaller than they used to be, but their size is what makes them adorable. Before we get to our last pick on the list, let us know if you would adopt one of these dogs for yourself, and if we missed out on any other big pooches. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Forever Green, and hit that bell icon for more. And number one, Grey Danes. Finally, we have the most gigantic dog breed, as recognized by the American Kennel Club, but only in terms of height. Although they are called the Grey Danes, they aren't Danish. The Grey Dane is a German breed that bonds closely with its owners and makes amazing family dogs. Your house doesn't need to be of enormous size to house these big dogs, but they wouldn't mind some extra space for their fluffy tails. Unfortunately, unlike other gentle giant canines, the Grey Danes have a shorter life expectancy. The most recent record holder of the tallest dog was held by Zeus, who was an astonishing 44 inches. With 200 pounds of sheer love and affection in them, they might make heavy lap dogs, but it'll all be worth it. Well, that's it for today's video. We'll see you in the next one.